in Atlanta. That's a big impact for Sam Schmidt there. Considered the very real fear that he would never be in the driver's seat ever again. Until I was paralyzed, literally everything in my life I could conquer with just, you know, perseverance and determination. Paralysis is the first thing that I, I haven't been able to, you know, figure out how to fix. Before this, there was nothing available for quadriplegics to be able to control a vehicle, period. We took what existed for paraplegics and retrofitted our own control system on top of it. You know, the first round was trying to get Sam from point A to B. Can that even be done? Sam Schmidt, 14 years and four months after being paralyzed in an Indy car crash, he drove a car again. It was an emotional day for all of us involved in this sport. An oval track is fast, but it's four left-hand turns. He's done all that. And so this year, we dedicated ourselves to the Pikes Peak Hill Climb, which is a legal road up to the top of a 14,000-foot mountain. I think this is going to be even more challenging than Indianapolis in that, you know, you've got to maintain the focus and the forward attention. In no way could we fail, even in the slightest degree. We knew that our margin of error was inches, feet, not tens of feet, twenties of feet for the hill climb. They'll have weather, altitude, sheer cliffs. You know, it's an intense race. and It's one of the most grueling challenges for both man and machine. We've done each iteration of the car each year in a matter of months, and then we drive. And every time we drive, we learn something new. We apply those lessons to the car, we iterate again, and then we keep driving. Definitely you need better uh, steering sensitivity for bike speed. It's crazy, but sometimes you got to push the envelope and, um, you know, see where the boundaries are. And I think we're not even close. This project is probably more me than, uh, than all the other things, you know, uh, taking every opportunity, you know, se seizing every challenge and just, uh, you know, trying to accomplish what, what hasn't been done before. We never take a moment to, to recognize what we're doing. This is our first day on Pikes Peak. And Noel and I can tell you that three years ago, we never thought we were going to be here. And now we're going to drive the mountain. So have a good time, Sam. See you at the top. Thank you for the opportunity. You know, he might be injured and he, and he might be disabled, but he's still one of the best drivers in the world. With a little bit of help from technology, people with disabilities can do things that they never thought were possible before. You know, when I hear the name Sam Schmidt, I feel inspired. Good job, all right, that's the way to get after it. Okay, a long left-hander. You take a guy that made his living driving cars, and even after what happened to him, stayed in the sport because you just can't get out, no matter how hard you try. He's driving to the mountaintop. It's just a big, beautiful view up there, and I really want him to see it. Drive halfway. Perfect drive, perfect line, that's awesome. Okay. The most the frustrating part of the last 16 years is not being able to do simple things with my kids. When you get an opportunity like this, it's a lot of pride, it's a lot of emotion, and it sort of re-inspired me that anything's possible. And go like hell, go like hell, go, 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 go! Top of the world.